Hey everybody, it's Chris Marshall of the Payne Street Team brought to you by PayneAutoGroup.com. And it's time for another edition of Payne Auto Talk. This week we got a short with our friend Mr. Freddy Flores, the general manager of Payne Mission Volkswagen and Mitsubishi. He's back on the show and I caught him just before he went into a training for the all new revised refreshed 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. That is the full size SUV from Volkswagen. And I got to sit down with him for just a few minutes right before the training started. And this is how it went. And here we are today once again at Payne Mission Volkswagen and Mitsubishi with the commanding general of this site, and that is Mr. Freddy Flores. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me today. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. I know you're a hardworking man, and you got a training going on from what I just heard, and the new Volkswagen Atlas, it's dropping. It is. We have the training for the 2024 Atlas Crossport and Atlas coming in today. That starts at 1 o'clock, so we're going to get the privilege of seeing the vehicle firsthand and getting to know it. Awesome. Awesome. Now, uh, Atlas itself is Volkswagen's full-size SUV on a three-tier. I believe it's Taos, then the middle child is Tiguan, and then Atlas is at the top. That is correct. Awesome. Awesome. And... uh, it's been out now for a couple of years, and people are really digging it. It's uh, It's been out, if I'm not mistaken, seven years, eight years. Uh, but, yeah, the, the community, the you know, they're, they're loving the vehicle. It's a good-sized vehicle, seven passengers. It's for the entire family. Warranty's great. Good gas mileage. It's a, it's a great vehicle all the way around. Awesome. And this has really given, I believe, Chevy Tahoe a run for its money. It is. I have plenty of people come in here and say Tahoe, Tahoe, Tahoe. But uh, when it comes down to it, bolts and screws, the size about the inside, uh, the size of the interior is about the same thing. Awesome. Most awesome. Well, we can't wait to get the load down on that. And remember, folks, the new 2024 Atlas. Yeah, they're doing a training today, which means it will be on the lots soon. Dun, dun, dun. Very soon. Now, I noticed when I pulled in that we've got some EVs out here. We've got uh, Volkswagen's got some new EV stuff. You've got your charging station there. What's what's new on the horizon with EV? Well, EV, we have the ID4 currently out right now. The ID7 will be coming out here towards the end of the year. Uh, then the you know, the one that nobody can wait for is the, is the buzz. Oh, yeah, the micro bus. That's right. The magic bus. That won't be out till 2024, but that is that will be after the ID7. So we have, we have a line of, of uh, EVs coming out on the Volkswagen side. The current one, again, is the ID4. Great vehicle. Uh, you know, we had one here as a demo for six months, and that thing is it's phenomenal. Uh, the, the weight distribution on the vehicle is great. The chart, the, you know, the range on it is about 250 to 280, depending on how you're, you're using it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, good, good vehicle. Uh, it's great for here in the valley. I mean, obviously, we're not nobody here goes too far. So if you're, long, you're using it here, it, it's a perfect vehicle. And great for our business. Yes. Great for business, for a people mover, and also cargo. It's great for everything. It's good for all those. It's good for the consumers, everybody that's come in to buy it. Uh, not all of them have been business owners, but a lot of them have. It's a, it's a good thing for businesses as far as owners go just because of the incentives, the write-offs, the $7,500. Of course, you know, get with your CPA or oh, yeah. somebody like that before you just take my word for it. But, uh, yeah, we've had plenty of business owners come in and buy it. And, it's it's again, it's a great vehicle. Awesome. So it's ID4, and then we're skipping all the way to ID7. They're skipping all the way to ID7. Don't ask me. Don't ask me what's in between there. But yeah, they skipped all the way to the seven. <laughs> awesome. And what's going to entail in it with its features? The I, I don't know about the features on that or the buzz yet. Uh, they've they've revealed it. It came out two months ago. Oh, the, so it's on, in concept it, form. It's it's yeah. actually already and an, uh, it's past the concept form. It came out. It was at the the LA Auto Show. Uh, and that was the actual vehicle that will be going into production. Oh, working ju- prototype. Correct. I just don't know the ins and outs of it. They haven't sent that over yet. So, again, Ooh, that's going to be towards the end of the year. We're doing our training today, like you just stated a little while ago on the Atlas uh, 2024. We're going to be having something similar to this in the next few months in regards to the ID7. Oh, my God. That's, gonna, ooh, that's exciting. It is. Oh, man, it's like that question mark box on Super Mario. You don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> awesome. And also we have the, micro, like you said, the micro bus still kind of fuzzy on that. I, I did a read on uh, some of the stuff they're doing, and some of it is like uh, it's Star Wars, Star Trek, where they're supposed to be putting like the windshield 
I know this is further down the road, but the windshield's going to have some sort of infrared deal where it shows what's going on at night way in front of the car, like the infrared radar or something like that. I have not seen that, but I think that would be pretty cool. I know that was a it was a concept thing, yeah. so I don't know if that's going to come to fruition. Right. But uh, I do know this: with the lack of the motor being in the back, that means that's more cargo area. Correct. That is correct. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, is it going to have the pop up camper on top, the sleeper? I, I wouldn't put it past Volkswagen, but uh, the the one that they showed at the debut did not have that. But again, oh, I, I could bet they would probably come out with something like that. Maybe even the surfboards on top, like my Hot Wheels <laughs> back in the day. Oh, yeah, the magic bus. We can't wait to see that. And uh, also with Volkswagen, we have those. But uh, Mitsubishi, you've got plug-in hybrids as well, correct? Mitsubishi, yes. We have the Outlander PHEV. That's and right. That is their, their hybrid uh, vehicle. That's actually a good vehicle. Um, we have actually we just sold one yesterday, and uh, that that's you know you get the best of both worlds. So mm-hmm. you get the you know the electrical portion of that vehicle when you're driving in town, less than forty miles an hour. It's you know you're running on all nothing but electrical, saving your gas. And if you need to go out of town in that one, you're you can get all the way to San Antonio. So most it's, it's, yeah, it, it it's the best of both worlds for that. And it's a brand new design on that on that uh, PHEV Outlander. It's great looking. It's comfortable. They've redesigned the seats, so it, it's it's all around. It's a good vehicle. Yeah, the Outlander redesign was really awesome, and I know y'all had a couple of those 40th anniversary Outlanders, and man, that thing was awesome. So, and y'all, of course, Volts, or Mitsubishi, I should say, they still have that 100,000 mile seven year limited powertrain warranty. They still do. It's it's a good. They have Mitsubishi has a great warranty. Yeah, and so if they're doing that on their on their gas burners, when it comes down to the hybrids, they've got to have just as just as awesome. It's as the warranty. exact same warranty. I tell you what, technology is a moving man. It is. I'm getting a, man every time it advances. I get more gray hairs. <laughs> Good lord! And also, you have charging stations here, uh, and uh, customers like usually when they get a uh, like a plug-in hybrid or a full fully electric vehicle, they can charge it off their one ten volt outlet that's Mm -hmm. what you plug most of your stuff in at home but they do have an option of and they can go through y'all to to contract the what how many is it 240 volts uh 220 220 220 volts and it's a big charging station they can have at home yeah there's 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 multiple charging stations you mentioned the 110 Uh, you can take that uh that comes with most of these vehicles and i say most not all uh, that plugs right into your wall socket, and you can charge your vehicle overnight while you're sleeping and your vehicle's charging. Uh, you can upgrade that just in case you're, you know, up and about, and you use your vehicle a little bit more. You can go to the 220. That would give you a full charge, uh, I believe, in eight hours. Yeah, eight, eight to ten, I yeah. believe, depending on and your battery. And you can go to the supercharge station, which charges your vehicle within an hour. Wow. Um, th- those are all options for anybody buying these vehicles. Uh, we've done all those options for different scenarios and different customers of course uh but yeah you have an option of any of those three now here at the store we do have the stage two charging stations and those are open for our vehicles customers that are coming in customers that purchase vehicles we've had customers come in and and ask if we charge we don't charge just come on in get your car plugged in and take a look at our inventory why not right awesome and if uh if they notice something wrong with their vehicle they can also run it through service and make sure she's charging at the proper rate because i know some other manufacturers they their first run vehicles they had a little bit of an issue they had a short or something so i know y'all want to stay on top of it as well yep we're definitely here for that and service is even open on Saturday, I believe? They're open on Saturdays. Awesome. Awesome. So we've got all of your electric vehicle needs from both Mitsubishi and Volkswagen here at Payne Mission Volkswagen and Mitsubishi. Now, what else is on the horizon? What else we got coming out? There's got to be some exciting stuff going on. Well, on the Volkswagen side, we do have some redesigned vehicles. Again, we, we just discussed the Atlas Crossport, the Atlas and the Crossport. That's going to be redesigned. That's going to be displayed today going over training the id7 the buzz and then we do going forward we do have the tiguan that's going to be redesigned it had Ooh. a facelift but it will be nice. redesigned uh you have the jetta that's going to have a facelift it was redesigned but it'll have a facelift coming up so every actually every vehicle in the volkswagen line is going to be redesigned mitsubishi in this upcoming year also has two vehicles getting redesigned which would be the outlander sport and then the outlander itself just got redesigned but it'll have a facelift so there's a little bit of everything being switched in the next refreshed. couple of years yeah, yeah a little makeover they're going back to the spa yeah. it, it, it's it's nice when that happens obviously it, it it you know 
brings the excitement at, not only at the dealership but at the at our customers you know oh man every time i see golf gti i get excited army buddy of mine had one and man we ratted around that thing it was awesome yeah so talking about gti the golf r just got redesigned and uh, we just got one of those and that was pre-sold and we have another one coming in that one's pre-sold but that, that golf r is a beautiful that's beautiful how fast vehicle. it happens that's how fast it happens uh, so that that redesign on that golf r is a beautiful vehicle oh man and the r line stuff is really cool yes it's it really cool but that are there any more of those 40th anniversary outlanders there is not those no. have they have come in and they were sold uh Dude, so we don't are, have any more coming in they were awesome they were in black and they had that was it a bronze top or bronze top oh my God. we have some rally editions that are that are coming out so we got a couple of those already those have already sold and we have a couple more coming but those are very very nice looking too they had those displayed at the at the nada this year and they had a couple of displayed at the detroit show awesome a lot of exciting things going on at Payne Mission, and uh, maybe I don't know if the uh, powers that be at Mitsubishi would you pre please bring back a two sport spider coupe? Because <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Uh, I don't know what, if they'll ever do it, but as soon as they do, I, I'd probably be in line to buy one. It's it's a it was an awesome car back then, and it would probably be just as great now. Oh, the the old school Eclipse is timeless, and like I just recounted the story before we started the podcast, I saw the last one. The last Mitsubishi Eclipse from Payne Auto Group here years ago. It was a Spider, and it was in Sunset Metallic. And, Freddie, you're the one who showed me, and you're like, this is it. And I'm just going, no. <laughs> but, hey, you know, some vehicles came back. So yeah, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Both of us. Yeah, I was about to say, Volkswagen has a lot of accessories for yes. adventure. They and do. people get out. I mean, People putting stuff on top of their atlas, pulling a trailer with it. I mean, y'all can, was it 5,000 pounds? 4,500 pounds? Right around there, yes. Yeah. So that's a boat or a camper right there. Nice little camper. Yep. So come on into Payne Mission Volkswagen Mitsubishi. We've got your electrical vehicles here, your plug-in hybrids if you if you want to do the waltz between two worlds. That's right. And also, uh, and also you have some great... Um, great programs like for business folks don't you we have uh programs for uh business we have programs for college that's students. right because the fall's coming up yeah, that's right so we have uh, programs for for both those we have business uh programs for uh, foreign business professionals Ooh. so anybody that comes in that's a foreign business that moves in at least in our area comes into matamoros comes into uh, the reynosa area that has <clears throat> work visa coming in Volkswagen will we do have programs through Volkswagen that will finance a vehicle for you for the time of your visa so we have programs for 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 that uh, the first uh, time buyers program we also have that program so don't matter if you graduated years ago you're 30 years old or 21 years old if you're a first time buyer you have a, a job for over a year Volkswagen is giving you an opportunity to get into a car awesome volkswagen looking to the future and helping us out here both home and abroad most excellent well is there anything else in closing that you got well i just come on over we have plenty of vehicles on the lot right now we're not flooded like we used to be a few years back but we have just enough uh we have a mix of everything right now from the jetta all the way to the atlas on the volkswagen side on the mitchie side we have the sports the mirages the outlanders and the eclipses uh which we just mentioned but it's a different eclipse yeah, an SUV. it's a it's a it's an, a crossover it's SUV. It's a crossover SUV, but we got we got a mix of everything. We have one of at least one of everything on the lot. Come on over. There's great incentives. We just mentioned incentives. Uh, there's great incentives from the factory right now that are lower than what they were a few months back. So, come on down, and we're here to help. Ladies and gentlemen, Freddie and I got so caught up with the time crunch and everything, I forgot to ask Freddie what song he wanted to hear for this edition of Pain Auto Talk. And because of the Volkswagen Atlas, new and refreshed, we know that it's going to rock. So guess what? I thought, how about some rock? And a tribute to one of our favorite rockers, singer, songwriter, guitarist, and quite an eccentric fellow, and that is Mr. Joe Walsh. So here we go. We don't own the rights to this song, but I'm pretty sure that Mr. Joe Walsh does. Neon lights 
streets don't have much pity When you're down, that's where you'll stay In the city In the city To catch you when you fall Somewhere out on that horizon Far away from the neon sky I know there must be something better And I can't stay Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a quick short here with Mr. Freddy Flores, your commanding general, general manager, right here at Payne Mission Volkswagen in Mitsubishi. New things are coming out daily. That's right. They're having a new training for the new 2024 Volkswagen Atlas and also for your electric vehicle needs. Come on by Payne Mission Volkswagen and Mitsubishi. Freddy, thank you very much for your time. I can see the team outside gearing up for their training and they are, well... I know they're probably more excited than I am, but I'll tell you what, I am excited. This is going to be really cool. I'm just as excited as they are. I got you. I got you. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in to Payne Auto Talk with Chris Marshall of the Payne Street Team, brought to you by PayneAutoGroup.com. And we are gone.